All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing our last video leading into Rick's final episode in the Walking Dead television series, which is of course tonight. Oh man, so this one will just be kind of a fun one hanging out with you guys. We'll go through some kind of final, uh, you know, Q&A questions for this week since uh, we've done lots of videos this week. I think Walking Dead video every day this week, right? More than one uh, because uh, this is crazy stuff, right? To actually get to see what we're going to see tonight is something that we probably never thought we would see until the very end of the Walking Dead television series. Like until like the last episode of the show, <laughs> you know, a lot of people thought you would see Rick until the very end. But but that's not going to be the way it goes down in the television series version. Uh, and probably not in the comics either, even though Rick is still alive in the comics and still in, you know, quite most issues. Uh, you'll have Rick in, in the comic book series. So, uh, yeah, man, final thoughts before tonight's... Um you know, episode and big premiere. Uh, I'm pretty excited for it. I'm optimistic about the future of the series now uh, after kind of the recent uh, information we've had with the Cardell mailbox and this kind of stuff and all the different theories and everything. And it really looks like, um, you know, instead of them killing Rick off, which uh, originally we all thought that's what they were going to do because once they announced that these were his final episodes, the next thing that everybody would think is that he would be killed off. You wouldn't see him leave the series in some way. Uh, not to never return again, but it sounds like that's probably what we're gonna what we're gonna see. So um, you know, another series, something, all the different theories we've gone over this week. We'll see uh, in the coming years uh, what they end up doing with the character. But it does sound like hopefully. Um, Fingers crossed. Hopefully he will <laughs> make it out of tonight's episode uh, alive. Uh, Eddie1367 says, Trev, are you going to cry tonight? So uh, I probably will, to be honest with you. Uh, whether he whether he survives or not, like if he's killed off, of course, I'm going to cry because I'm going to be devastated since it was like this back and forth, up and down roller coaster until this uh, this episode right here. I mean, you guys got to understand, this one has been, you know, sort of, uh, I've been dreading this one since the news started to come out in May. I mean, when we first heard it, you know, I think we all thought right away this is the end of The Walking Dead. You know, with Rick leaving or being killed off, um, you know, it's that's it. It's over, right? Surely it's. Uh, I think Forbes had a had a page that said, uh, you know, surely it's time to kill the whole show, right? Surely it's time to end the series because um, without Rick in it, uh, you know, who knows who knows what it's going to be like, and we're going to find out next week because tonight is the final episode. So I'm looking forward to this final kind of hurrah for Rick. And uh, the next few years, we'll just keep our keep our uh, you know uh, eyes peeled, or uh, you know uh, keep our you know minds open and see what AMC is going to do with this if they ever come back to it. I really highly doubt this will be the last time we see Rick Grimes in tonight's episode and then never see him again in any kind of Walking Dead series ever. Uh, but you, you never know with contracts and such. But I do think eventually uh, Andrew Lincoln will get the itch to want to come back and want to do it even if it's a few years from now. You know, a couple years from now, even if it's five years from now, whatever they have to do, uh, if he's still out live, if if he's J, if he's out there alive somewhere, if he's JSS there somewhere, then there's potential, there's opportunity, and as such, you know, fans may keep watching, and the show may go on for a few more years, just knowing that Rick could return at some time, or we could see something with Rick in it again. Uh, but. I think I am going to cry tonight, you know, because there's just uh, there's just so many emotions, you know, coming up to see this episode. Like even right now, I'm just feeling right now because I'm thinking to myself, like, whether they kill him off or not, this is it. You know what I mean? This is the end for Rick and the Walking Dead television series. And it's been a long time coming, right? You know, season one all the way up until now for season <laughs> for season nine. And uh, I'm glad, you know, he was in the series for so long. And just really, uh, you know, the big question mark of what they're going to do now, right? If Rick does survive somehow... Um, then what does that mean? What will we uh, what will we see in the future of The Walking Dead? And uh, what will they do? What is what is Gimple got planned? Right, <laughs> as evil evil genius, uh, you know, uh, what does he have in store for us? So we'll see, man. Billy Jean says, I don't care how Rick survives as long as he actually does survive. So I think that's what we're all hoping going into this episode is that uh, we do see him survive here somehow. Uh, whatever they have to do. Um, you got to think about it. It's not the same as any other character in the show. I mean, if it was anybody else, I think, except for Rick, uh, maybe 
with the exception of Daryl, too, because he's going to be, you know, he's very important as well, too. But uh, for Rick, it's like whatever BS they have to come up with to make it <laughs> to make him survive dumpsters or helicopters or whatever they got to do. It's worth it, you know, because if uh, if you do, you know, kill him off for good, 100 percent. So he can, you know, the character's gone for good, dead and not just MIA. Right. Uh, then it, it really does feel like doom and gloom for the entire entire series. Um, and, and we'll even see with him gone how the series is going to perform, how many people are still going to be interested in it when you're minus Rick uh, starting next week. So we'll, uh, we'll touch back on that in about a week or two. Paul Toomey says the helicopter rescue did, work out, <laughs> did not work out well for Travis and Fear of the Walking Dead. Um, so that's true if you guys have seen Fear Season 3. Uh, you know what happened with that one. That's true. I hope it goes better for Rick than it went for him. Uh, Isaiah Bryant says, uh, man, I'm just trying to see the whispers, uh, but I don't think they're showing up until episode six. Uh, maybe not even in episode six. And that's one thing about this season is a lot of us had hoped to see the whispers. I was wearing a whisper mask of my own, <laughs> my own handmade, well, you know, Halloween store bought handmade whisper. Man, I had to cut some stuff off it to make it make sense. So it doesn't look like a zombie. It looks like a zombie flesh, right? Uh, a lot of us were hoping to see them. I was hoping to see them already. I thought we would have uh, seen them by now. But, um, you know, I'm not disappointed that the Whispers haven't showed up yet. The thing is, what they are doing is so compelling that I just, you know, I, I don't mind the fact that they didn't bring them in right away. Uh, what they're doing is just such drastic, huge changes to the show, and um, it looks like it's being done so well that it doesn't bother me that they haven't brought the Whispers in yet. I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, well... They'll bring them in, you know, let's be patient. They'll bring them in and, uh, you know, they're going to need to after this big uh, gaping hole is going to be left in the show with uh, uh, Rick and then, of course, also Maggie, too. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing them afterwards uh, and just but even more looking forward to what does the series look like after tonight's episode? What is what is the future of The Walking Dead after tonight? And that question right there is, uh, is really uh, a harder one to answer. I think the show is going to have to totally... Uh, rediscover its uh, its essence, and that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see, let's see how they do it. Uh, Andrew W says, uh, "Only way Negan dies is if JDM doesn't want a new contract." There's so many things uh, they can do yet with this character if he wants to stay on the show. And that's very true, right, as well. After yesterday's video about the uh, Maggie versus Negan situation, we're all basically expecting Negan to survive, you know. But, you know, eventually, JDM, because the thing with him is that he's got a lot of different projects he can work on. He doesn't need to be in every episode of The Walking Dead. He's not a Rick Grimes, so he's not the same kind of uh, of character that you have to have there all the time. You could have him leave for a while and come back, and, and it would feel totally natural because of... Uh, based on the character and who he is, right? Uh, I wouldn't expect to see him every episode. I'd be shocked if we if we did. Um, but yeah, man, eventually if he decides that he wants to leave too, it just makes it really difficult. So I, I think he has said in the past before that he's in it for the long haul, so we should be seeing Negan for at least a few more years. Uh, but what does the television series version of Negan look like without Rick being there? Probably way different from the comics, and maybe that's a good thing. We'll see... Um, We'll see what they do with Negan, uh, since Rick is uh, is not going to be there for him to uh, to work with. Uh, Dark Star says, uh, "How did I know that you were going to get back to talking about Rick before this video was over this week, man?" In the Maggie video yesterday, the thing is, man, it's like it's what's on everybody's mind. So even though Maggie's leaving, it's like I know, man, but it's Rick, right? You know, Maggie came in in season two, and and she was. She wasn't a forefront character until years after that. Of course, she has become that in the last couple of years. But, I mean, Rick started the whole damn thing, right? Rick started the series with uh, with John Bertha, with Shane. So, uh, to see him leave, it's just uh, uh, Maggie's not leaving at a good time because the thing is, is that, you know, it's so overshadowed by Rick leaving. It's like, you know, because that's also basically tonight's episode or maybe next week's episode uh, with Maggie leaving too. But it's like, um, it's just totally, it's totally overblown by Rick. Um you know, or overshadowed by Rick leaving that nobody even really cares. <laughs> you know, so uh, Ryan A. Tour says, uh, what if Rick does get bitten and then leaves in the helicopter as an A? That would leave us wondering, did he necessarily die or did or did they cure him? Uh, we still haven't seen the scene uh, of Rick sleeping or at least 
uh, with his eyes closed and a walker uh, comes at him according to the Comic-Con trailer. So that scene from the trailer. I think that we will see that one and I think it might be on the bridge. So let's see uh, let's see what happens with that and how that, uh, how that goes down. But the question of whether or not he'll be bitten first before he leaves or whatever, uh, a lot of us I think we thought that he'd be stabbed or he'd be bitten because we didn't think that he would fall off a horse onto rebar. Like that's just not something that we would have been able to predict ahead of time and we didn't and nobody brought that up you know uh until like you know pretty much last week or two uh when it got close to it and you get the spoiler details and stuff like this coming out before that nobody had predicted that that would you know we would see that right so um yeah andrew ortiz said uh, god never been more excited for an episode it's going to be fantastic and sad at the same time it feels like the show is ending with him dying and that's true right it is tonight's episode is basically you know, it, it's in a way the end of The Walking Dead as we knew it. It's it's the end of the original kind of uh, Walking Dead that we had that started back in season one, led by Rick. It can't be the same anymore. You can have Daryl, you can have Carol, Maggie, and the others. Or sorry, not Maggie, Michonne, Maggie's leaving too. Uh, Negan and the others. But uh, what will it look like? Man, I just have, I really have no idea. So episode six, I'm also looking forward to episode six too. Because uh, I mostly want to see people's reaction and to find out whether or not uh, the series can can, can make it without Rick, right? Uh, Dixo Gaming says, A helicopter will drop a dumpster so Rick can hide until season 22, right? So as long as he needs to, yeah, season 20-something. Um, so I like that one. Melissa B. says, uh, If the helicopter uh, connection Jadis has somehow rescues Rick, doesn't that mean that Rick Grimes will be spending his very last episode with Jadis, the garbage person? I, I would feel personally insulted by that. Well, again, you know, it depends on how you want to look at this. They're saying technically that um, th this is his last episode in the Walking Dead series. But we know there's other projects coming. We know there's other stuff coming down the pipe. And uh, I do not think this is the last we've seen of Rick even if we don't see him in the flagship Walking Dead series anymore. Uh, maybe they are doing a third series. Maybe there's something else in the works. Uh, movie, whatever. Maybe he, some people think he's going to fear. Uh, Paul, uh, Pamela uh, Griffin here says, uh, what if he goes to fear the Walking Dead? You know, I, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see Rick go to fear. I really don't because, um, you know, fear usually doesn't get as much for a budget as the original Walking Dead series gets, so far as I know. And, uh, you know, I, I don't really want to see that, right? But at the same time, I'd rather they do that than kill him off totally. And the other thing, too, is if you think about it, if they're doing this and they put him into another series or a movie or something like that in a couple of years, or if it is fear, then okay, whatever. If they were to do that, then they'd be able to get, instead of just 16 episodes of The Walking Dead, they'd be able to ex expand that even further. Instead of 16 or 32, maybe if they added on a third series led by Rick or something. I don't know what they could do. Uh, maybe a couple year type of deal or a movie type deal. Then maybe that's why they decide to do it. Plus it gives Andrew Lincoln a break. So this is the whole idea of, of why. But I don't like the idea of him going to fear personally. You guys can leave a comment below. How would you feel if he met Morgan again and ended up in fear somehow. I don't know how that could work. Leslie, a hard man, says, uh, I kind of feel like uh, Michonne is the Chuck Norris of The Walking Dead. LOL, it's true. She's super tough. Uh, Maggie doesn't stand a chance tonight, right? Uh, <laughs> Matthew uh, McGann says, I remember the good old days when it took three episodes for them to travel places. Now they have unlocked the map and have fast travel, right? So it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's true. So I like that one too. It's like... Um, you know, like video game, right? It's like things. And that's true this season that they haven't, you know, it's been packed, man. It's been packed with stuff going on every episode, especially last week's episode. And it's just been, it's been awesome, man, for sure. Easton Zero Link says, Hey, Trevor, I was rewatching All That War. And in the season seven finale, when Jadis and her group turn on Rick's group, she tells Rick that uh, she made a better deal with Negan. And later on, she talks uh, to him and says 12 right away. And he says 10. People are a resource. Do you think Jadis was talking about 12 people for the A uh, and B helicopter storyline? Um, well, she could have been right because maybe they had it planned out that far back. So that's true. Um, it's something that, you know, when you watch it back through, it's kind of cool to watch 7 and, and 8 back because you see all these things now that kind of make more sense than they did before, right? So... That's cool. Zach Yen says, Trev, do you think the conflict between the saviors and the communities will be resolved by episode five, or will it be stretched out 
to the second half. Well, I think they're probably pretty much done with the Savior versus Community stuff. I, I don't expect to see too much more of that. That said, if Negan breaks out or something like that, they could probably touch back on it a little bit. But it'd probably be a sub-storyline. I don't think it'd be the main driving uh, storyline again because we saw, we've seen all that war. They can't really go back to that again, right? We've I think we've seen enough of it, even at this point, too. It's, it's still interesting and everything. But um, I don't think they can go back to it as a main story focus. Because right now it's not really a main story focus either. It's kind of secondary to, of course, what's happening with Rick. And, uh, yeah, so... That's the way I'm seeing it right now. Uh, Live Matrix says, uh, Whiskey Cavalier will tank, right? So <laughs> Maggie will be back. Uh, Hacks uh, ah, 5150 says, The show needs JDM more than ever now. No doubt he will help the show in a big way. So I hope so, man. That would be really cool to see if they could do something with Negan after Rick's gone and kind of uh, redeem him a bit more for the viewers and maybe make him uh, close to a lead, even though I tend to think it's probably mostly going to be Daryl, even though Norman Reedus kind of likes to shoot that down, right? That whole idea. Um, Mr. Rogers says, I hope this episode is 99% Rick and his story. Well, it looks like there's going to be some, um, you know, Negan, Maggie, Michonne mixed in there as well too, but I, I think a lot of it will be hallucinations and stuff like that, and it should be really good to see all that stuff. Um, Slayer says, Trev, you're missing an important factor. All we have to do uh, is see if Rick is in the uh, in memoriam, because if not, just like Glenn's dumpster death, it's a fake out once again by MC. LOL thoughts? Um, well, I think that uh, they'll probably do something special with it on Talking Dead, with it being Rick's final episode tonight. So I would expect to see them do, maybe not an in memoriam, but I, I bet you they'll do some kind of throwback to Rick. But you know, it's like you're saying, you're you're pretty much right, but we'll see in the episode how clear uh, cut it is one way or another, whether or not, um, you know, he's dead or if he survived JSS's. Uh, with Stripe says, uh, the Walking Dead popularity has long since diminished dr dramatically since 2016. Doing a theatrical uh, release movie is a huge risk for AMC, so if they actually do release it in theaters, uh, it'll be uh, more than a little confused, or I'll be a little bit more confused uh, by their decision. Well, uh, it could be a TV movie as well, too. It could be another series. Um, you know, I think that if they were to take Rick out of the TV series and do a movie franchise in theaters, it would do very well, in my opinion, anyway. Um, but it is taking a big risk. But at the same time, if you don't do anything but just do the normal, run-of-the-mill, regular stuff all the time, you don't take risks, people can get bored. So that's part of why The Walking Dead reinvents itself so much as part of their strategy. And that makes a lot of sense because you, you don't want people to get bored. You do want it to, sw to switch up a lot. Maybe not, you know, I'm not saying The Walking Dead TV series will probably be in better shape without Rick. But what I am saying is that... Um, you know, they do have to take some big risks, and sometimes they may have to do something like this in order to save the character. You know, get him out for a while and then see if uh, if uh, Andrew Lincoln wants to return at some point, and maybe he'll be able to. So maybe that's what we'll see. We'll see tonight, man. That's pretty much all i got to say leading up to this final episode for Andrew Lincoln playing Rick in The Walking Dead. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed tonight's episode. Check back, of course, for the review afterwards, and it will break everything down. We'll you know do lots of videos this week. Very exciting. It feels like the end, but don't forget there's more episodes after after this one. Um, and man, is it ever going to be different. So very excited for tonight. Uh, a little bit nervous still and uh, a little bit sad. Definitely mixed emotions for me. Let me know how you guys are feeling. Leave the comments below. And if you like this video, please thumb it up below. Uh, subscribe at the bottom to the channel and check back again tonight to see the rest of the videos uh, after we see this, this, uh, this can't miss epic uh, untimely, you know, <laughs> episode uh, that uh, that we've been kind of dreading. Look, maybe looking forward to in some ways. You know, just need to see uh, since, like I said, since the news came out back in May from Collider. That's it for this one, guys. We'll see you again soon for another video. As always, this is Trev. See you tonight. Later, guys. Peace.